Ohane Zendibu places $50,000 bounty on Samanekwa, declares him an enemy of the Igbos. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Apex Igbo Social Culture Organization, Ohane Zendibu Worldwide, has placed a $50,000 reward for anyone who can give vital information that will lead to the arrest of Samanekwa. Ghana Nigeria reported that the organization claimed to have uncovered plans by people who are the enemies of the Indibo to hire the self acclaimed Biafra Gatito, Samanekwa, to instigate attacks, disrupt the electoral process, and make sure the voting strength of a southeast region is lessened in the forthcoming general election. In a statement made by the Secretary General of the Ohanese Indibo Worldwide, Okechuku Isi Guzuro, on Monday, the 23rd of January 2023, the Indibo alleged that Simon Ekwa is working for an unnamed presidential candidate as he is one of their strategies. Mohanese also claimed that Simon Ekwa is shielding himself with his Finnish citizen to wreak havoc in the southeast and evade the rest. The statement read in part, Indibo has planned a bounty reward of $50,000 for anyone who has useful information on how Simon Ekwa will be apprehended for his extradition and prosecution in Nigeria to answer the law of the land over his criminalities, incitement of violence, killings and burning of public properties in the name of self-determination. The statement also read that all Igbos at home and in the diaspora should be devoted to the task of preserving and rescuing the Southeast and also be willing to assist in the arrest of the worsening insecurity challenges, the dwindling of economy and the social activity which is as a result of Simon Ekwa ranting an illegal seat at home. The group further declared Simon Ekwa as the number one adversary and enemy of Indibo who Indibo had caught sight of in the last 200 years. I don't know. <laughs> I do not know how true this is. As in, the fact this, what I know that Simon Ekwa has wrecked havoc. I know that one. The man don't wreak havoc. But how are they going to catch him now? Hmm. You will not hear my fellow Igbo friends talk now if Nafulani has men. You for don't they hear them be around. A good idea and I know that God of Unambikano will bring him out. My owners, anybody will they do evil. Evil does not beget good. What did I say? Evil can never beget good. What did I say? Evil can never beget good. Waiting no good, no good. What is happening? You know, while I start, you know, looking at this man and saying his troubles almost is, is the last sit at home that caused blood. Many people died. How can you be doing sit at home? And you are saying you are fighting for a people. And people are going around killing their fellow citizens of the southeastern, or should I say the Igbo extraction. And you are somewhere saying it is good. Are you sound? I mean, permit me to use this British accent. Are you okay? Are you sure you're okay? You sure? Because I need to know. How can you claim that you are part of a secessionist group and then you are, you know, all the atrocities being committed is being committed? How? If you claim you love the people, you are going to, you know, protect them. You're going to do anything. I keep saying that is why when the indigenous people of Biafra came out, I said you cannot claim to love the people and you keep taking decisions that are going to put them in harm's way. No. That is why when those ones saw that, you know, these are indigenous people of Biafra, I mean, this their sit at home was now getting out of hand. They now said, okay, let's stop. But unfortunately, before they stopped, that their sit at home had already created a monster to fight against people. You know when you develop a robot? And the robot now comes to start fighting against you. Now wants to kill you. That is now the problem. So this man don't wreak havoc. And the thing is, he stays in Finland. Works in Finland when he wants to work. He does anything he wants to do. Nobody is knocking on the door. Nobody is chasing him. He is not peeping over his shoulders. But you now stay there. Oh, on your high horse. And you are now telling people. In the southeast in Nigeria here. That as you sit at home. When you not carry my, the, uh, this thing from out, you not carry the Jew from out, you can't they talk her, and they can't they listen to you. Hmm. Okay. Why not us are protecting and giving amnesty to the most dangerous Islamic 
terrorists, bandits, killers, hatsmen, murderers, killer enemies of Nigeria. These sinners is a fish out their own freedom fire to feed the north. Igbos, who do you people? Where will you learn from your best announcers? Igbo leaders are bad example. Well, calm down. This Simon Echo of a guy, he's not doing the right thing. He's not doing the right thing. He's not doing the right thing. Except, you know, except I did not, what he's doing and what we're hearing is not the same. Because this recent one, this most recent one he did, it's not okay. Okay. We have started again to bust up a great problem in Igbo land. This was how now the case started up till now. It will never be crunch. You are going into another. It is quite a PC. Which problem is greater than the one um, Simon Epa is causing now? Okay. Simon has touched the tail of a lion. This time he must be smoked out from free land. Shame on him. My own is, if you people are saying you people don't want him to be fished out, then what exactly are you people saying? Those who betrayed the boys in their quest for any progress never ended well. Before and the civil war, Simon Epa will never be an exception. He asked nobody to advise him. Politicians from other regions have been using him for much trouble in the South East States. He should read the handwriting on the wall that is games. I hope. Okay. I support Ohanis at this time. Our political enemies are using that useless blood sucking them. Idiot. <laughs> I couldn't watch the video of their wicked desire act against their recent victim, but one could hear them distancing themselves from IPOB, ESN, and Masob, but stating that their mission is to stop elections in the Southeast. God forbid. If anyone has genuine information about their camp, let us not hesitate to divulge it to the relevant security agencies. Simonipa has sold them out. Okay, let them go to Google. They will know everything about him. No need for waiting for information. Uh, well, inform me. You can Google cannot give you the exact place now where somebody is. So Simonipa has become difficult for Ndibo. You can say that again. One man must not be allowed to destroy a whole tribe of good people. I'm telling you, that is why we are they're all saying everybody that has useful information about him, that they're going to, if it means, if you want payment, that you have a $50,000 bounty waiting for you. Once you can give reasonable information on how he can be, he can be arrested. Okay, the so-called Ohanese should engage themselves in something meaningful and not talking bula bull like Tunumbu. I'm a fan of the Igbos, but you people should not support the smelling goods called Simon Epa, or what do they call him? Instigating Igbo to destroy their own people again. What an evil man. Okay. A step in the right direction. The mad drug addict must face the music. My own is how he comfortably stays in Finland, goes to work, does everything he wants, then opens his system or whatever he uses and comes back and tells the Igbos not to do this. Not just to look them. <laughs> All right, and this note have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.